Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be trying a bunch of new products on my face. We're going to do a full face of first impressions. I'm very excited to test all these products out and let you know what I think of them. A lot of them are high end, but there is some drugstore in here as well. So if you're interested, definitely keep watching and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Give it a thumbs up too if you like these videos and yeah. Let's just go ahead and get started. Before I put my shadow shields on, I'm going to go ahead and try this new primer from a Smashbox. The Photo Finish Lid Primer in Light. And I'm hoping this is going to be good for oily eyelids. So we will see. It is tinted, as you can see. So this should cancel out a lot of redness and discoloration. This reminds me of MAC Pink Pot and Soft Ochre. Do you guys remember when I used to use that all the freaking time? Oh, so long ago. It's getting a little tacky, so we're going to set this with a, a cream shadow or a face powder. I forget if there's a cream shadow in the palette I'm going to use, um, but we will set it just so it's not sticky when we go in to blend the first crease shade. So I'm going to go ahead and just pop on, yes! This palette has it. So this is probably the coolest packaging I've ever seen. It is like a canvas feel and it has painting all over it because they did uh, collaborate. And this is just so stunning. I love the colors in here. I think it's very different, very fun, can be very, very smoky. And it has three perfect shades right here to start off your look. So I'm going to take this one. So it has a really nice mirror as well. I would probably use it like this, but it's up and down. Hey, where'd that brush go, girl? So I'm going to go ahead and take the first shade, Enig Enigma. I don't know why I couldn't say that. And I'm going to put this all over my lid just to set. This will just give us a really nice, smooth surface to work with. I'm going to take it all the way up to the brow. All right, we're ready to go. So the next color that I'm going to take is actually Levitation. It's this one right here, which is right below the first one. And I'm going to take a fluffy crease brush. This is by MAC. I feel like I haven't used this brush in so long. I've been decluttering my makeup and everything, and I found this brush, and I was like, oh, there you are. I used to be obsessed with these. I'm going to take that Levitation color with this brush and just blend this into the crease. It's a really nice crease shade because it's not too dark, it's not too light, but it creates that nice transition to the brow. For me, when I use transition shades, I don't like anything, you know, too intense because you want it to lighten up as it gets to the brow. Now I'm going to take the Morphe M443 in with this one, which is called Not For Sale, and I'm just going to go in the crease with this, but not go above that first transition shade that we applied. I mean, these three are my kind of colors, you know? <laughs> I don't know what look I'm doing today. I'm just going to kind of try some different things out and wing it. So pray for me. Now what I'm going to do is I think I want to I really want to go in with the blue. But I don't know how that's going to look with the orange. But I want to do it. I don't know. What do you think? Let's just see what it looks like, right? It's so intense in blue. It's this one right here. It's the shade. Damn, I don't know that word. I'm going to blend this right below that orange in the crease. Okay. It's not bad. Actually, I don't mind that with the orange. See, sometimes you just gotta wing it, you know? Speaking of wing, oh, there's that Tarte eyeliner. I've been loving a new Tarte liner. Oh my gosh, I purchased it because I heard so many good things about it. I see why everybody loves it. It's so good. I also brought out these new Tarte clay pots. So I have Lucky Penny, which might look really pretty in the center of the eye. This is very auburn right now. <laughs> then I also have Rose Gold. So I don't know which one I want to use yet, but I do want to bring the blue in the inner corner as well and do like a halo eye. I'm going to take the MAC 239 again with that dark blue. And we're just going to put this in the inner corner of the eye as well. Since we're doing more of a halo look, we'll just bring it in and then connect it in the middle. You want something that's kind of dense so you have full control here in the inner corner. You guys love, no, I love a smoky look. So I'm always down to try a different palette and do something intense with it. I feel like that's when you really get to see how it performs because you want everything to blend so well. What would be so cool if I took this one because I also got this liner that I thought would be cool on the waterline. I don't know. I'm kind of stepping out of my comfort zone today. I'm going to take a very clean blending brush and I'm just going to clean the edge or I'm going to blend these blue edges real quick. So I'm just going to dust over it. I'm going to add a little bit more orange in just a second into the crease. So I'm going back in with another brush and taking that orange and lightly going right above that blue just so we don't lose that really pretty orange color. I really like this palette so far. I think it's so cool. 
Okay, and now I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this one all over the lid and maybe do a touch of rose gold on the very center. So again, this is in the shade Lucky Penny. I haven't tried these. And I'm going to use a flat shader brush. So I'm gonna use the MAC 242. And I'm going to put this on the center of the lid. To get up to the crease. Kind of pat it out. I'm wondering how this is gonna blend out. Then I think I'm gonna take a little bit of rose gold. Just put this in the center. Just in the very center. Just to add a little extra pop. I think it's pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the dense shade that we used with the blue, and I'm just going to kind of blend out these edges very, very lightly. Cool, I like that. I like the palette a lot. I think it's super, super pretty. I think these little clay pots are really awesome too. They look really nice on the lid. Hopefully they don't crease. I'm sure we'll see as the tutorial goes on. I don't think I have a new liquid liner in there. So this is the Tarte Man Eater Liner. And oh my gosh, this is a brush tip, which I didn't think I would like, but I ended up really loving it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a winged liner. Okay, so I'm gonna apply my lashes off camera. These are the Lily Lashes in the Mikonos. Mikonos. So I'm going to be applying these. They're really pretty and fluffy. And I'll be back to do the foundation and everything and really make this look come together. So now that the lashes are on, I'm going to go on with a new primer. This is the Dermacol Matte Control Makeup Base and it's oil free. It says it's an anti-shine formula that lasts up to 18 hours. We are going to try this out. I got it off of Amazon. I showed it in my, I think I did a Dermacol first impressions or like a wear test. I used it not too long ago and I really did like that foundation. So I'm going to try this primer. It's a little squeezy tube and then this is what it looks like. I'm just going to put this in my problem area since it is such an intense anti-shine product. Or at least that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I will say it doesn't feel mattifying. It feels very silky. Um, like it doesn't feel drying at all. So we'll see how it works. I'm going to try out this NYX Invincible Fullest Coverage Foundation in the shade Medium Beige. I hope it matches me right now because I did apply some self-tanner. But we'll just have to see. I'm going to use it with a brush on one side and then a sponge on the other. So I'm going to do the sponge first since it's right here. Seems a little bit thick. That looks like it'll be okay. So it's not looking like intense full coverage, but it is covering. You can still see some redness in here. Maybe a brush is the way to go. We will see. Um, I don't know how I feel about it just yet. Take some down the neck. So I'm super splotchy here, like I told you guys, but we're just gonna have to work with it. That's what it looks like. I'm not obsessed with it right now, but we'll see how brush works. So I'm gonna use this Real Techniques brush. We're just gonna put this on. That is not full coverage in my opinion. This is more medium buildable. Fullest coverage foundation, I think like super intense. I'm not getting that from this. I don't feel like this is full coverage. I still see some redness in here peeking through. Oh, I'm not feeling it. Oh, kind of sad. Okay, I did bring my Tarte Shape Tape if we don't get the coverage that I want from this next concealer. So this was sent to me by number seven the brand that you can get at Target, and this is the Radiant Glow Under Eye Concealer. Doesn't sound like it would be super full coverage. That's why I brought the Tarte Shape Tape. So it's a clicky pin. Let's see what we're working with here. This is in the shade 10. So hopefully this will give us a little bit more coverage in here. I'm not the biggest fan of clicky pins, but you know, if the product's good, then why not? Ooh, it's very sheer because I can still see all this redness peeking through here, but it's not, it's not bad. It's just not what I want for this look. When I have this dramatic of an eye, I want a full coverage concealer. So the color I'm using is light medium. Just gonna put that right in here and blend it out. Yes, yeah, see, like this is the coverage I need 
wear concealer. So I know it's not claiming it's a full coverage concealer. Um, I think if you want to use it, like kind of like I do, I always do the Tarte Shape Tape here in the inner corner and then something lighter on the outer half. I mean, you could do that with the number 7 concealer, so it's not bad. I just wanted it a little bit more full coverage, so I just applied this on top, which also, this Tarte Shape Tape is blending really well on top of this concealer. It's all about what you're looking for, what you need for your specific look. But I like it. I mean, I'll keep it. I'll probably use it on the other parts of my face because it looks nice on my forehead and everything. Now I'm going to use this really expensive loose powder. This is the Clay de Peau Translucent Loose Powder. This is huge. I bought this forever ago for like a expensive haul, but I never played with it. I don't know why, but look at how pretty this packaging is. So pretty. It's the first time I'm seeing it actually. And you just lift it up, right? Oh, you twist it up. That's kind of nice. Then you have this little number. Oh, is it the sifter you put on? You have a really nice sponge. Don't want to get that dirty. Twist this off. Okay, so you could twist it off and have it open like that. But you might want to put the sifter on, right? Right? Wait, no? Is that is that what that's for? Place this paper ring directly into powder and set inner mesh on top. Oh, place this paper directly onto powder and set inner mesh on top. Uh, okay. I don't know. It's kind of nice. I feel like it's a little messy though. I'm going to bake my face with this. This looks really pretty, actually. So it is a colorless powder. I mean, it has like a little pink tint to it, but nothing crazy. It kind of smells good too. It smells kind of florally. I could be wrong, but that's what it smells like to me. I kind of like the powder thing on top. It's a better idea than just letting it float loosely. So I'm going to do my eyebrows, let this bake, and then I'll come back. Another good thing is you could take this and twist this back on top. And then again, take the top and twist this on. So it's a little messy, but like when you're traveling, at least you have two forms of like twisty tops to make sure it doesn't get absolutely everywhere. So I don't have a new brow product to share with you guys, so I'm just going to use my Makeup Revolution. We're going to let this bake, and I'm going to come back, and we're going to finish off the rest of the face makeup. Okay, my brows are on, and now I'm going to go ahead and dust away the baking. So I'm just going to use this Duo Fiber Brush from MUA. This is a CVS brand. It's making my skin look really, really smooth. Okay, so I have two different bronzer type things to share with you guys. New one that Becca came out with, which I did purchase, and then they sent me the collection, which I just donated that and kept the one that I purchased. This is the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in Capri Coast, and the packaging is really pretty. It's the same as their highlighters, and then you open it up, and this is what it looks like. It does look like it has some shimmer in it. Actually, it does. Let's just be honest. It looks like more of a glowy bronzer. This is very light, but when I put it on my face, it'll be okay. So we'll see how this works, but I also have these from It Cosmetics. It's the Confidence in Your Glow Skin Transforming Healthy Flush Blushing Bronzer. Also came with a brush. I don't know if you have to use a brush with it, but it says it's your blush, bronzer, and highlighter in one sweep. The color that I'm thinking of using is this one right here. It has more of a peach tone in it, and this one's in the shade Instant Warm Glow, I believe. So I'm going to look at this. I want to see if they have like a video on how to do it. She swept this all over. And do you see how she has and how it loves her? Ready? Like a wash over my face like she does. So what they're doing is very simple. They're taking it and putting it all over their face, which I wouldn't think to put blush and a mixture of highlighter and bronzer all over my skin, but we'll try it for this video. This is the packaging. I will say this packaging is freaking gorgeous. I think they have some really great products that have great packaging. And then this is what it looks like. So basically what they did is they took the brush, sweeped it, and put it all over their face. We're going to see how this works. So this brush is really soft. It has, it's more dense right in here, and then it feathers up to just a lighter kind of duo fiber feel. I'm just gonna do what they did and hopefully we look okay. Okay, do that. And I'm just gonna I do think I'm gonna like the idea of this just for like that reason right there. Oh hell no. <laughs> I think separately would be better. Not, I don't think mixing the colors and putting them on your face is a great idea. The blush, the bronzer all over the skin. I mean, it looks nice, but I guess maybe if you want like an everyday, quick, easy, like sweep all over, yes, but I do not like the hint of 
blush right up here. I feel like it doesn't work for me. I don't know. But you could also use them individually if you wanted to. They're very pigmented, so I mean, if you want to try it out, try it out. Um, I'm going to take just a little bit of contour. It's very powdery. Holy sh! You're so pigmented. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I feel about this just yet. I don't like the idea of this all over. It's just not not the look I'm going for. I mean, it does look pretty. What do you guys think of it? I think maybe if it was hints of different colored bronzers for all over the face. I see where they were going with it, but I do not like this color on my forehead, and I'm not the biggest fan of highlighter all over my face. Luckily, this is just a nice sheen, so it just gives you a glow. It doesn't emphasize texture or anything that's nice. I do like it. I think I need to play with it more. Um, this, I think, would be really great for contouring. Just a little... Just a little something there. I think the brush is really nice quality. So we're going to try out this Becca bronzer on the other side of our face. Again, this is in the shade Capri Coast. That is pretty. That's like a nice, natural looking bronzer. Oh, I love that. Now I want more colors. I kind of wish I went through the colors before I got rid of all of them. You see the difference though? This one's more rosy, this one's definitely more tan, and that's because you had to take the blush on the forehead as well and the cheek, at least the way they're telling you to apply it. But look at this Becca bronzer. Wow. I'm gonna use the smaller brush that I used with the It Cosmetics one and take it in the Becca as well and just do a little bit of contour. Don't need much because we're pretty bronzed right now. We've got some color on our face now. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to go in with this BH Cosmetics Nude Rose Sculpt and Glow Palette. Looked interesting to me. Looks like it has three bronzers, a blush, and two highlights, according to the back. Moving on, I am going to use this blush in the palette because this one has a lot of shimmer in it, so I'm going to use this. I'm not going to use these highlight powders. This matte cream one looks like a really nice powder to set your under eye with. If you're not into really baking, I think you would like that. But I'm going to take this blush color right here, and I'm just going to very lightly, like barely any on the brush, put this on my cheeks because the It Cosmetics one has got its pretty glow up. Alright, we're done with blushes, bronzers, all of that. So now we're going to move on to highlighter. This is new from Stila. It's the Heaven's Hue highlighter in the shade Kitten. And this is a different highlighter. I'm interested to test it out. So it just looks like this in the package. And then this is what the product looks like. It's very interesting. It's not a powder. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a cream, but it looks pretty intense. And they're most known for their shade Kitten, so of course they had to come out with a highlighter like this. I know they have a few more shades, but this is the one that I wanted to try because I know I love Kitten. I want to see how this looks on the skin. I'm going to take this e.l.f. brush. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. I'm going to dip it in here, or swirl it. I'm just going to apply it on top of our cheeks. Wow. It's, it's like a wet look. Now, this kind of highlight does emphasize texture, so just keep that in mind. So I would keep this back away from your pores if you like me and you have texture. I wouldn't say this is like an everyday highlight for me. This would be more of like very, very glam like I have on right now. But it is really nice. I'm going to see what this looks like on my waterline. This is that same Urban Decay Jean Michael collaboration. This is in the shade Anatomy. That is intense. Oh my god, look at how easy that applies. For a colored liner? Oh, that just applied so well, and I'm really kind of feeling it on my brown eyes. This collaboration, like, oh my god. Loving everything so far. I think it is so cool. It just makes you want to step outside your comfort zone and try new things. Damn, that was cool. Okay, now I'm going to take this Thick and Fast Mascara from Soap and Glory. We're not going to be able to really tell if this is very volumizing, but I am going to coat my bottom lashes with it, and I'm going to put a little bit on my upper lashes just to blend a little bit more. Okay, so I have it on my bottom lashes. It's making them look really feathery, but not very volumized, so I wonder how this would look on your top lashes, you know what I mean? Now I have to move on to lips and I have no idea what I'm gonna put on my lips because of this super dramatic eye. Okay, so I have these new Victoria's Secret lip colors. These are the Velvet Matte Cream Lip Stains, but I also brought this just in case it's a little too dark and needs to be lightened up. And this one's in the shade Perfection. I've had these forever. I actually have the whole line, but I just haven't ever had a chance to try them out. Whoa, look at how pigmented. 
Wow, these are pigmented. I'm gonna take some of this Makeup Geek Showstopper. These are our cream stains, and this one's in do si -Do. I'm gonna put this in the center of my lips. Not obsessed with the packaging of this, just because the top is so small. It's like short, so it's kind of hard to open and stuff. I don't know, maybe that's just me. So this is the completed look. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I think my standout products are this eyeshadow palette. This is just such a fun palette. Something you can kind of get outside your comfort zone with and still also use neutrals. It just has nice pops of color in here if you want to kind of do something different. This liner is insane. This is again that same collab with Urban Decay and Jean Michael. This is what I have on my waterline. It is just so cool. I love this. I think this eyeshadow primer is going to be really great from Smashbox. Again, this is the Photo Finish Lid Primer in Light, and so far I'm not creasing. And then another really standout product is definitely this Becca bronzer in the shade Capri Coast. This, I think, is going to be one of my new favorite bronzers just because it looks beautiful on the skin. It looks like a natural tan, and I really like it a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below in the comments what you want to try out from this video. It was so much fun. I really love the look. It's something very smoky, dramatic, a little different, which is what I love. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.